Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. It's a game that is, at least its name, it's pretty damn amazing. So last episode we got a lot of stuff done and we're definitely getting closer towards our goals. But let's take a look and see where we are now. Check the concrete bin, there's only 30. That's fine. We'll check the copper bin. Actually we can make the copper bin more efficient as well by using some splitters over here. So trash this, so long. Got a splitter here. That takes El Coparino. That's perfect. And then one of these goes into the... Oh, that's way too janky. Okay, we've got to trash this. How about that? That should work. Yep, it does. So this goes into here. Perfect. This goes into here. And this one comes around and connects there. Now we need a merger. So it's the first time we're using a merger, but this is going to take both of these machines and put everything into this thing. That looks good to me. Is that going to be okay? Yep, perfect. Plug you in there. It's a bit janky, but that works. And then this one's going to be a curvy boy. And hey presto, we've got two machines now making the copper wires that we want. This is going to be amazing. Oh yeah, and look at all that copper wire. Perfect. So we're almost at the space elevator. What we'll do is we'll take some of these copper ingots out, because we can turn this into extra wire. And let's get going. We'll do another cheeky drive-by and pick up the concrete that's in here now. 30 more. Again, it takes a long time to get the concrete you need. Even with two rigs on two veins set up getting all the concrete. We're still pretty far behind. We'll take some of these rods. Why not? Useful to have. And we'll definitely take some plates. We'll have a bit of plate action. And now it's time to come over to the conkers. So it might be like 100 in here. 130. Okay, so we're getting closer. We're more than halfway on the concrete. We're good to go on the plates and probably the iron rods. We have some lying around. But the wires. The wires could be a tricky one. Let's see if we can make some with the copper ingots we picked up. But if one gets you three, I think we, m we actually have just about enough. Oh man, you do, you do often find yourself at the crafting bench just trying to fill in the gaps because your machines, while they work, they can take a bit of time. And then you don't lose anything for waiting. So what it can be nice to do is just get everything up and running, put some stuff in your generators, and then just take a break for 10, 20, 30 minutes. Come back, you can have a lot of materials that you can go forwards with. Or you can spend some time making your setup even more efficient. However, uh, you're going to need more and more generators, the more and more machines that you get. So it's kind of false economy because that's just going to take you more and more time spent gathering biomass. Uh, so until coal, I would say try and play it a bit conservative. So we've got the wires. Good to go. We've got the rods, I do believe, in here. Perfect. We've got the iron plates. We're just waiting for the concrete now. If we're just, uh, just under 300, we need 200 more. Now, it is kind of awkward having all the concrete so differently separated. We could get a conveyor belt that goes all the way from over here and uh, takes the concrete over to the same bin, but that would also be pretty resource hogging. So here we go. We need 140 or 150 more concrete. So what we are going to do is just spend some time with the digging tool picking up limestone. Yay. Oh no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't sit there with a pickaxe, with a little chisel, getting all the concrete we need. So I'm just going to have to wait for it. But while we do, let's see if there's any milestones that are cheaper, that we can get done without using any materials that we need. Yeah, because we need wire for this. We've got ample amounts of plates and rods. So we can chuck that in, I suppose. In you go. One fitty. We get the plates out of here. Boom, 150. Oh, we have some uh, limestone in here already. Okay. Let's go see if we can make something with that. But while we wait for the rest of the concrete, I'm just going to go and take a break. So, actually, no, if I go and take a break and the machines power down, then all of this was for naught. So let's check our biofuel levels first. 58. 55. 59. And 38. Oh, that's okay. I've got about a good 10 minutes before things power down. So I'm going to go grab a drink, take a, take a walk, get some fresh air, and uh, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Until then, though, enjoy this nice view of our factory.
Looks like I have returned. And have we had any problems while I've been gone? Well, it looks like one of these machines uh, is a bit janky. We got nothing coming out of here. Why is that? Oh, because we never plugged in this machine. What a ridiculous faux pas. And this is it. This is why sometimes you need a lookout tower so you can look out over your whole operation and see, hmm, hang on a sec. There's nothing on that conveyor belt. Why is that? Well, it's usually got a simple, simple solution to the problem. So we'll gather the concrete that's in here. Wow, 50. So we probably have enough to make the space elevator. But let's grab some of this copper wire, see what we've made over here in the time I've been away. Ooh, lots of backed up copper. And that means that we could have two constructors here making this wire. And likewise over here, we can get away with having two constructors. We could make four outputs of copper wire. We don't really need to just yet. 500, wow. Bad boy. Yeah, we are still desperately lacking in concrete. But if we can get 50 in this container, we've got the space elevator. So fingers crossed. Oh, yes, 70. Perfect. So, ooh. Let's just fill up on this. And boom. Looks to me like we can get a space elevator. We have had a power down, which means we're out of biomass, probably. Uh, there's none in here. So we'll worry about that later, because we're about to get the space elevator. This thing is the most impressive thing in the game so far. So let's, let's put it down and see it in motion. Trash this limestone. Don't need that. Do need some more rods. And we need a few more plates as well. Good to go. Let's do it. Space elevator time. Reach for the sky. So you want a lot of space for your space elevator. Lol. Um, but this is going to be somewhere where you're going to want to put resources in. However, you're not going to need to use the space elevator very frequently. So you need a big space that's kind of separate from most other resources. So somewhere moderately far away is, is kind of useful. And in fact, probably right here is just fine. What is that thing? It's a space pig. No, it's some kind of fox. I don't know. Oh, no, it's a space pig. It's a space pig. Okay, so the space elevator. Here we go. Special space elevator. Now, we're going to get on an elevated position to put down the space elevator. And we're going to watch it get created from quite far away. Because this thing is a real beast. Okay, here we are. We can see the whole factory from up here. This is... Oh, you don't want to fall down. But let's plonk down the space elevator. Now, you can build this from miles away, which is quite cool. Like, if we want to put it down... Wait. Oh, no, you can't actually build it from that far away. Whoops. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, we can put it down here. It's a bit too close to everything. Oh, there's another one of those space slugs. Yoink. Oh, not enough space. Can I trash something? I don't need these iron ingots. Boom. Trade for trade. Oh, we're going to take some full damage and take a shortcut down here. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, so here we go. We can probably get away with putting the space elevator mm, somewhere over here in the shadow of the big arch. So let's put this down and see it get created. It's a bit dark, but I don't want to wait until daytime because that could be a long way away. Uh, this is probably flat enough. Okay, we'll spin it a bit. Got the inputs there. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh. I'm going to hit the little uh, space manta. Now look at this thing. This is impressive. This is so impressive. This thing is huge. Now let's watch it all happen. Now there's something in the sky because it's a space elevator. A giant hook's going to come down, and we're going to grab it. And we're going to pull the moon into the planet. No, we're not going to do that. Are you ready? Here we go. Down it comes. Okay, grab it, grab it, grab it, before it gets away. There we go. Oh, hold on tight. Down comes a big wire thing. Okay, now pull it, pull it. 
ratchet into position. Oh yeah, and a giant platform comes down too. I guess that's the lift to carry up all the stuff. And bam, we have a space elevator. This thing's huge, huge. And I think it's finished this thing now. It's a giant stick coming out of it. What is that for? I don't know. Let's have a zoom in on that. That just looks like a big stick. It's got like satellite dishes on it. That's fine. Okay. Well, let's take a closer look at the space elevator. Let's see what you can do in here. It's got all kinds of uh, ladders you can climb up on it. It's also got some inputs. These are very important because this is this is how you can feed in some of the objectives. And later on in the game, this thing requires some big investments for you to make some progress towards the next goal. But if you press E, this thing wants us to make some rotors, which we can't even make yet. And 75 reinforced iron plates. That's pretty tricky. Once you put these things in here, you pull down the lever and that's all that happens basically. There's nothing that impressive. You don't see the platform come down and go up. You do just see a light go from the bottom all the way to the top, like bloop, like that kind of. Well, I guess you don't even see that because we're seeing it now. Um, but yeah, the space elevator. Holy crap. Well, thank you for watching Satisfactory. Uh, it's been a real joy to get this far. I'm going to play this a truck ton tonight when I go home because, oh my god, it's a lot of fun. And I'd love to play it more for YouTube and potentially stream it as well. So let me know in the comments section if you want to see more of this game because it is so good. It's getting to nighttime now, actually. So although the lights look really cool at night. That's really cool. And the great thing about this thing is that it's, this goes all the way up to the space. And when you drive really far away to explore the world, if, if you ever don't know where you are, and you will do because you'll always have this little home icon above the uh, screen. But if you do ever get lost and think, oh, where am I vaguely? Where's my base? You can always look back and you'll always be able to see the space elevator lighting up the sky. Uh, it's like a good beacon that shows you which way is to home. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, take care.